guys, it's Brian, and today I'm here to bring you another favorites video. And this month, of course, it is my September favorites. September, September, September. What a weird month you are. Sometimes you're hot, sometimes you're cold, but you're great because you're the beginning of fall, so. I like you. But anyway, I actually have quite a bit to go over in this video, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. So, to start off this video, I actually have a makeup favorite to go over, and this isn't just like a general makeup favorite. I feel like this is a new holy grail product for myself, so it's a pretty big deal for me. And that is the new Bobbi Brown Lip Crush lipstick. I'm currently wearing a color now, and I've honestly been wearing it every single day since I bought my first one two weeks ago. The shade I'm wearing in this shade is called Ruby, and then I also recently bought another pinkier shade called Lilac. These lipsticks are incredible. I feel like I could talk about these forever. I'm telling everyone and their mother, including my mother, to buy them. They're essentially like the texture and like the ease of a tinted chapstick, but has the long-lasting wear of a matte lipstick, and they have like this just blotted look, so it's a little more of a subtle color, which I feel like I've been looking for for ages, because sometimes I don't always want to wear like a very intense matte lipstick. I want something a little lighter, but still has some color for the fall. I love these. I feel like this is the beginning of an obsession. I just want to buy every single shade. They have so many amazing fall shades, but they also have a lot of great spring summer shades as well. I bought this lipstick on a whim when I saw like every British blogger in the entire world get one and I was like, I should try it. So glad I did. I'm obsessed with them. And they're currently 15% off at Nordstrom. So that's why I'm gonna buy another one. <laughs> so moving on from beauty, I'm gonna talk about my only homeware favorite, and I feel like I have a bit of explanation here. I have been going on and on about how I don't like Bath & Body Works candles. They burn out quickly. I don't think they're very cute in terms of packaging. Both of those things I still feel strongly about, especially the burning out quickly thing, but I gotta hand it to them. They have the best fall scents, and they were having a sale, and I walked in, and they have brand new packaging. That's right, I bought two new candles from Bath & Body Works, and look at them, they're so pretty. First off, we have this vanilla birch, which has this really nice diamond, like wood enamel inlay aesthetic to it, and then I have this one, which is a bourbon butterscotch, which smells so good, and it has this like marble effect to it. I was not expecting this. These are like designer Bath & Body Work candles, plus they're affordable. I mean, I've only burned bourbon butterscotch once, and I like burned a sixth of it in one sitting. I knew they burned fast, but they're cute now. The smells are so potently fall, and you know, they're really affordable. Moving on to the fashion part of this video. This is probably gonna be my lengthiest fashion part because um, I've been doing a lot of shopping lately. I have a lot of holes in my fall winter wardrobe, which I'm <laughs> ceaselessly trying to fill, but I also just love fall fashion, and there's so many things that are just coming out, and I'm just, I can't, I can't hold back. The first thing I'm gonna quickly mention is shoes. Now, the, these shoes I feel like I've mentioned before, but I have been wearing both of them every single day as seen by my Instagram, then I feel like I just needed to mention them again. Especially these guys. These are some weird shoes. Like I know these aren't for everyone, but these are the free people like cut out boot flats. I don't know what they are, but I have literally been wearing these probably five days out of every week. They are the most comfortable shoes I own. You just slip them on and go. You don't have to deal with, I don't know, my favorite kind of shoes are just slip-on shoes. I also particularly like these because I feel like these will transition very easily into the fall. I'm trying not to show them too closely because I've literally worn these to the ground. They are worn, but they still look good. The thing about free people shoes is you're supposed to make them look like they've been in your family for 40 years, you know? <laughs> and the other pair of shoes I have been loving and I feel like will only increase as the weather gets crisper is my Eleanor loafers from Madewell. These things are just a classic. I love the color, this nice cognac shade. They're really, really comfy. They're flat. They're great for work wear and they're just really, really cute. And I personally just love brown accessories, brown shoes, brown bags. All of that. The next few things I'm going to show you guys are all from the same store, and that is ASOS. In the past few months, I have increasingly begun to fall in love with ASOS. I believe that has a direct correlation with me falling deeper and deeper into British blogger, YouTuber world. I'm just like, I just love all of these British fashion people. I just watch them and I want to buy all their clothes. ASOS is a place where they tend to buy them. The first thing is literally the shirt I'm wearing. This is the most simple cotton white striped boat neck shirt. 
but it was super affordable it's great quality it's very very thick and something I realized about my wardrobe is I don't have a lot of long sleeve shirts so I picked this up and I have been wearing it so often it's such great quality it's slightly oversized I love stripes I love long sleeves I like being warm and it was again great price. The next item I bought is ridiculous. My mom actually picked it up for me. She was like, I want to buy you something nice for work. Like, pick something out. And I picked out a t-shirt. She was a little confused. But these t-shirts and this particular brand, again, has been talked incessantly about by these British bloggers. And I just really wanted to try one. And ASOS was having like a 20% off sale. So I nicked it. And it is a Whistles gray tee. These things are oversized. They have like a little embroidery. This one says Mon Ami on it. And they're super, super soft. They're ridiculously overpriced. But honestly, I love this t-shirt. So I don't know. I'm a t-shirt girl. I sometimes apparently am comfortable with spending way too much on a t-shirt. But I love it and I got it on ASOS. And the last ASOS thing I have picked up recently is just the best. This is a wonderful Madewell cardigan dupe for significantly less. Uh, I've been looking for a good or oversized camel colored cardigan and I finally found it. This is a wool, just chunky, long cardigan. Uh, I think it was around $50. I actually sized up one size so it would have a larger oversized fit. It is just so cozy and so warm and so easy to throw on. It is the best. This is probably one of the best things I've purchased recently because I can just wear this every single day and it not be a problem. The last fashion thing I've been really enjoying is a weird material Chanel, Chanel, does anyone know how to say it? It's this shiny, super, super, super soft sweater material. Both of these items have actually featured on my Instagram. The first one is super affordable, highly recommend grabbing it while it's still in stock, and it is this H&M uh, Fisherman Knit sweater and it is in this chenille fabric which just means it's like extra soft like imagine the softest material you can think of and just times it by 10 this was again $20 I love the baby pink color of this I honestly think these layered on top of each other would be super cute um, but I just absolutely adore this and for the price I just could not say no and the other chenille thing I picked up is from anthropology I grabbed it when they were having their 20% off their store sale thing and it is this it's this cropped mustard wide sleeve chenille sweater. This is definitely not going to be for everyone, but I love it. Again, it is incredibly cozy and soft. I plan on like wearing this on its own, but also layered over like a white collared button up because I think that would look really nice. I just love it, and I just want to keep buying all the chenille items. So those are all of my fashion favorites. Now let's move on to like music and movies and TV shows. Starting first with music, I feel like I finally have had a good music month. The past few months I've been just having a hard time finding albums that I've just been jamming out really hard to, but this month it's all changed. First off, Noah Gunderson, one of my favorite artists of all time, just came out with a new CD. Been loving that. But also, I would have probably say my favorite CD of the month is tied between Bleacher's album this is so good. I don't know how or why I waited so long to start listening to this. It's just amazing. It's such good bops. But with that, I've also discovered Khaled, who, again, is by no means a new artist. This is by no means a new album, but I'm late on the bandwagon train, and I just started listening to it. And it is, again, amazing. And I'm constantly questioning all my life choices when I realize he's 18 years old and from El Paso. I'm like, you're a genius. Moving on to TV, I will say um, nothing on this front has changed drastically. We are, Clay and I are still watching Mad Men, but we're so close to finishing. We literally have four episodes left. So next month, I swear to you, I'll have a new television show to talk about. I also wanted to quickly mention that I binged watch season two of Crazy Ex-Girlfriend on Netflix. I ended up watching this show for whatever reason, but oh my gosh, I just randomly decided to watch an episode and it sucked me right back in. The show is so witty and so funny and so out there, and I just love all the musical theater elements. It's just so incredibly endearing. Um, that I love it. Has anyone else watched Crazy Ex-Girlfriend? Because Christine and I like to talk about it, but I don't really know anyone else who watches it. Also completed the finale of Big Brother. I'm still super bitter about how that went down. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that it ended that way. I know a few of you guys watch Big Brother and I just feel like I need to talk about it in the comments for a little bit because I feel like it was ridiculous. 
terms of movies, I've actually only seen one movie this month, and that was Kingsman, uh, the new one. And I actually saw it last night, and I have to say, I enjoyed it. I feel like critic reviews have kind of blasted this movie a bit. I don't know. But I thought it was a lot of fun. It was kind of exactly what I expected from this movie franchise. Wacky, out there, spy combat. It was really enjoyable. It was funny. I did like the first one more, but that didn't mean I didn't enjoy this second one as well. It was really, really clever, and I have a feeling there's going to be more in the franchise, and I'm excited to see, you know, how they expand the Kingsman universe and world from here. Alrighty guys, that is my September favorites. Let me know down below any favorites you guys have been loving this month, from clothing to music to movies, as I would love to know. I'm always on the hunt for new things. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you soon with another one soon. Goodbye!